Hey, and uh, welcome to uh, a very late edition of Just Calvin. Uh, I wanted to uh, first give you a little preview of my interview with Madeline Hoffman. I did it earlier today. Uh, I try to edit. Uh, I try to edit it, but I'm not used to editing it, and I don't think I did it right. So I went to the original and put it up on Anchor. FM slash Jess Calvin. Dancer, for example, that um, come in and, for, and work out a, negotiate a sweetheart deal, um, you know, with the government, with a, a local government to build, but have a tax abatement for years, for years. And this is, as you pointed out, whether it's in a, a pass through corporation or Corporation of Fox Labs is what, what it, was, it used to be called. Um, but a, a multi million, almost billion dollar corporation getting tax breaks to set up um, their operations in a, in a city like Newark that has so many real needs. Again, just go right here. Oops, my bad. I keep, I keep doing this. <clears throat> Uh, as you can tell, is from um, Madeline earlier, a couple hours ago. Um, all right, come on, slowpoke. There you go. So this is what it looks like, the, the actual front part of it. And uh, also, I put up a couple of things up there uh, as far as polls and the questions. So please do me a favor and answer both. And so that I know, one, uh, where you're watching from in regards to states or countries, and also uh, if you learned anything from the interview. Anyway, uh, let's see, what was I doing here? Oh, yes, actually, you know, thing. Uh, I'm also brought to you by <laughs> for we are many, uh, dot org. Um, they do uh, a podcast both on here uh as well as uh they do a facebook uh podcast as well pretty much um they talk about the events uh news they talk about everything from israel to um oh where's it um israel covid and other things on nature so stay tuned to them on facebook uh I believe it's i could be wrong about this but i believe it's um oh uh yeah anyway uh wednesday thursday and friday Again, I could be wrong about that, but double check. Go to Facebook and look, just uh, look up uh, for we are many, um, and you'll get to it. And this one is um, another organization that uh, that I'm helping out or is helping me out as well. Uh, they promote um, ranked choice voting, open presidential debates, and campaign finance reform. They also have uh, like a different post and stuff of that nature, as well as. A clothing line wants to get to that part i can show you there we go and on as a as a thing on my on my uh my thing here uh will be this shirt right here uh and then you'll have uh beach towels and con face masks and stuff and other other things like that anyway now a few months ago i said as well as everybody else pretty much who uh studies modern monetary theory and sees what happened here uh, as far as um, the economy and why things are so expensive and stuff of that nature. There's been ships literally stranded or docked outside of the coast of California, ready to come in, unload, uh, helping prices drop as they should, uh, basically deflating the inflation in regards to that. But uh, they're, they have they have been able to dock and unload, so they can go on in a very ma very merry way. So it's so those conservatives and blue dog Democrats and regular Democrats as well. There is no inflation in regards to um, in regards to product. This is what's going on. They're they are within sight. They're within like grasp of bring, being able to come in and drop off their drop off their, uh, their product and stores are just not allowing them to sh uh, to come in at least not yet as far as I could tell let's see now of course I have not uh, actually um, uh, read this but 
I remember a couple of months ago, it was the same thing. Let's see, the ports of Los Angeles, Long Beach are experiencing <clears throat> a record backlog as cargo ships wait to the dock. The ports handle nearly half of inbound containers for the U.S., making the ba backlog a huge issue. A California longshoreman told Insider what it's been like to work the ports. They choose to remain anonymous due to their jobs, but their identity has been verified by Insider. Okay. This is their story. A California longshoreman uh, told Insider what, it, what it's been like to work for uh, work in in to like to work the California ports during a record backlog. They choose to remain anonymous. Okay, I just said that. Uh, he's been working as a longshoreman at California's uh, San Pedro Bay port complex for close to 15 years, and the only thing he knows for sure about the congestion here is that everyone is blaming someone else. And shipping companies blame us for not covering skilled labor jobs, but they're the ones that approve training for those types of jobs. Then we turn around and blame COVID-19 for the influx of online, uh, online orders. Consumers see the ships backed up and say, you're not unloading fast enough. Truckers complain about the lack of chassis um, at the port, which limits the number of containers that can be carried out uh, the yard, it's a it's a total blame game. But the blame game has to start somewhere, and this time it starts with the backlogs at the port. The ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach saw record backlog last month with 65 cargo ships stuck off the coast waiting to dock and unload. Combined, the ports are the combined, the ports are the largest complex in the Western Hemisphere and handle. An estimated 40% of inbound containers for the U.S., making them the busiest in the world. The recent backlogs is just another example of global supply chain in crisis. So it's not spending. It's not product. It's getting them somewhere. It's them allowing, is them being allowed to be delivered. Kind of like the mail nowadays. Um, kind of like everything else in between. Instead of going faster, we've gone slower for more. As in, for more money, we've gone slower. It's kind of like buying a Twinkie and expecting to get some nourishment when, in fact, you're getting nothing of it, but you're paying more. Anyway, let's see. Ah. Uh, Let's see what else. And there's uh, something else I wanted to see. Ah, that's right. Okay, Green Party USA. Kind of go over a little bit of who's running, if I may. There is a part in the, by the way, weird thing. This in this uh, little thing that happened with the. Uh, uh, ecological wisdom begins with indigenous wisdom, uh, wisdom. It's true, but the first one it went br roughly went off at 41 minutes, and then they had to upload uh, the second portion of it. I'm not sure who was in charge of the production, but it sucked. But that's just my point of view as far as the part goes. I'm not exactly the best either. I mean, look what I couldn't even edit um, a 38 minute uh, conversation with a uh, tremendous candidate in New Jersey for heaven's sakes. Anyway. That's what's going on as far as the park goes. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to, no, not there. There we go. Oh, yes. And tomorrow I have uh, a Maryland Green Party, I believe, um, official. I'm going to talk to her about, uh, talk to him, I should say, this time I believe it's a he. Um, about the upcoming uh, elections and who's running, who's not running, and stuff like that. Anyway, so let's see. Dominique Faison is running for uh, New Jersey Assembly. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Logan Simmering is uh, running in Cincinnati. Uh, I believe he's same thing with um, K A uh, K A Heard uh, Heard Jr. They're both uh, running for a Cincinnati Council position. Uh, let's see what else. Craig Cayetano is uh, running for 
uh, uh, um, for Hawthorne Town Council in New Jersey. We also have, yeah, we also have Bart uh, Everson. Uh, he's running for, uh, I believe, City Council in New Orleans. We also have uh, Lorianne Burgess, for mayor of uh, Ambridge, PA. Uh, Justin Paglino, whom I'm trying to get another interview with. Uh, actually, he he broke the story that he's going to be running again uh, last year, I believe, and that's on my anchor. He's had to look for it. Um, anyway, so he's running. He's running again. Uh, I want to say New Haven, Connecticut. Yeah, New Haven. Yeah, New Haven, Connecticut. JustinForAll.org. Go there. Uh, let's see. Connor Mulvaney uh, is running. I want to say okay, Pennsylvania. Uh, let's see. No, blah, blah, blah. Who's this? Oh, uh, wow. Let's see. Who is this? I forgot. Anyway, uh, anyway, for now, uh, Cam Gordon is uh, running again for the city council in, in uh, Minnesota or Minneapolis, yeah, Minnesota. We have Edwin D. Jesus for Austeria in uh, New York uh, District 22. And so many others as far as that part goes. Anyway, so let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to talk about here? Uh, I guess the bottom line is if they have a, there we go. If they have a, uh, a page on Open Secrets, don't vote for them because if you if you look on for secrets, you see a whole bunch of donors and a whole bunch of industries that donated to them. That's who they're really going to be fighting for and working for, not you. Um, as you probably have seen uh, in the past well, like 30, 40 years, every time someone sits there and says they're going to change this or change that, uh, and yet nothing happens. I believe Joe Biden actually said it best himself. He did say that nothing would fundamentally change. So far, he's right about 90% of that. Um, and in regard, I remember yesterday, I mentioned Janet Yellen and her saying that minting a trillion dollar coin would, uh, would mess up the independence of the Federal Reserve. And I believe I said that that wouldn't happen as far as I'm concerned unless the coin came from a different country, which they wouldn't be able to accept anyway because they don't accept anything other than U.S. printed, whether it be, mint, whether it be coins or dollars. Um, now, of course, they're, they're more or less used to doing uh, dealing with dollars and stocks and other things of that nature, but uh, what she said was, as far as I'm concerned, anyway, this is my opinion, as someone who's not a degree holding, holding uh, economist, someone who uh, has only been studying monetary theory for roughly, what, six, seven months, but I think I had the gist of it overall. Um, anyway, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Please go to anchor.fm slash Jess Calvin. I'll put it in the description down below. And all of my uh, interviews will be put on my anchor. Uh, this stuff I do right now will be put on my YouTube. This way, uh, you, can go, you can go either way as far as the work goes, but hopefully you support both. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back on tomorrow, of course. And let me start actually. Oh, of course, there's a helicopter now. Okay, so tomorrow at uh, 1 o'clock p.m., I have uh, Liv, who is a co chair of the Maryland Greens. After that, I have uh, at Justin uh, N. B. Moore, who is a co uh, membership coordinator for. Uh, the Baltimore Baltimore Greens. Then I also have, by the way, that's at 2 p.m. Uh, the 14th, which would be Thursday. Friday the 15th, I have um, Congress Kate talking about her race. Uh, she's running against uh, Chuck Schumer uh, in 2022. Um, 
I should be on at 12 noon that day, talk about that and other things. And on the 18th, Monday, I will have K.A. Hurd, as I just said, uh, who is running for Cincinnati, Ohio uh, City Council. And that'll be at 5 o'clock at night. Uh, Tuesday, October 19th, there'll be uh, uh, Green Party Ray Stone Grover, who is the co-chair of a, of a Green Party, I forget which one. Um, and on the MMT side of things, I have for the 22nd, which is a Friday, Jabari Morris, uh, will be discussing MMT period as far as that part goes. Same thing with, um, Matthew Forstetter on, uh, Monday, October 25th, 2 p.m. And another, uh, Green Party candidate, um, Hank for you Senate, um, at 2 p.m. I believe he's running... In California, I could be wrong, but I'm going to double check that. And then I have um, a Texas governor uh, GP candidate, which I'm not sure who it is right now. <laughs> Had to double check that, but that's going to be at 2 p.m. as well. Anyway, so again, uh, thank you for watching. And go to uh, anchor.fm slash just Calvin and listen to my uh, full-on interview with Madeline Hoffman that happened earlier. There's a little bit of surprise in the middle of there, I believe. Um, uh, someone decided to uh, interrupt uh, for a couple of seconds, and I, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, peace out for now. Good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.